What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got one big story for you all about the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the newest render with this phone, the closest and best look we've had of this phone just yet. And there's a couple things that we are noticing that we're gonna point out and hopefully there'll be things that you actually are very impressed with and make you potentially wanna purchase or upgrade to the S24 Ultra from the other phone that you're already on right now. So let's look at it. This information's coming from Ice Universe and as you can see from his tweet, it says, tell me you're anxiously waiting for the S24 Ultra. This is the closest rendering of the S24 Ultra. And when we look at this, you know, if you look at it really, really quickly, you probably won't notice really much of any difference at all. But when we look at it, it does look like the front camera is smaller now than it was on the S23 Ultra. So giving you a little bit more screen to look at and making that camera a little bit less noticeable. The other thing on here is the symmetrical bezels. So they're symmetrical all the way around instead of being a little bit different, you know, in certain spaces. So if you are a symmetrical king and you want everything to look uniform, then the S24 Ultra is definitely the phone for you. But then we're also getting better um, cameras basically, or at least one, at least one you know, all the cameras would be, I guess, upgraded. But one of the bigger things on this is that the telephoto is a, a more powerful, better camera in general. And with that, we might lose some of that uh, optical zoom versus did optical zoom, like 5X optical zoom on the 24 Ultra versus 10X on the 23 Ultra, but the quality and, and, and performance of the camera should be better in general. Now there are other upgrades to this phone, such as obviously the new processor, the Snapdragon H Gen 3, most likely 16 gigs of RAM, potentially up to two terabytes of storage and a bunch of other things as well. Um, I'm definitely getting it. I still like the S23. I was like, if I was gonna be a candy bar kind of phone kind of guy, I would, and I love Android already, I would either be using the Pixel 8 Pro or definitely the 23 or 24 Ultra, whatever phone is out at that point. Um, those would be my main candy bar phones at this point that I can uh, right off the top of my head. Um, I have I have an iPhone, but I don't use it a lot. And I'm not a really big, again, a, a slab phone kind of guy, but if I would, those are the two phones I would definitely use. Your question is, if you are or not, what is what do you think is the best candy bar phone, slab phone, whatever you want to call it, in the world right now? Put it in the comments. Is it the S23 Ultra? Is it the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Is it the Pixel 8 Pro? Is it something else? Let us know in the comments down below. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.